Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to set up a dynamic island using, using an external out on Realme GT16. Firstly, go into Play Store, tap on the search bar and search up dynamic spot. Let's install the app. And once your installation has succeeded, you can open the app. Tap on next. Now tap on here and select which apps uh, can activate the pop-up. I'm going to choose all of them. Now let's go back. Now uh, you need to grant a, a notification access. So tap on here and select uh, dynamic spot. Tap on allow notification access and tap on allow. Okay. Now tap here, tap on allow. Next, and here I uh, have to go. Wait, let me go back. Here, uh, the app uses the accessibility service API to disable a floating. Uh, so, tap on next. Mm. Here, no, go into. I'm not sure where is it. Okay, so uh, okay, go here, tap on next, and tap on download download apps, and tap on dynamic spot, and tap here allow, tap on here and tap on allow, and tap on done. Now let's try if it works by tapping on this icon and tap on allow. Nothing has happened. I'm not sure why. Maybe I have to not disturb. Mm, turn on. No, I don't have. So let's try one more time. Oh, as you can see, and uh, dynamic island has worked. Okay, you can also can change uh, position of it simply by tapping on position, and you're going to see that this has popped up. Just to show you how this works better, so you can align it. I'm going to get put it a bit bottom. I'm going to change the size of it vertically and also align it a bit better, make it a bit, a bit smaller, okay. And uh, I can go back now. Also, you can change the appearance. Uh, also, there are free, uh, I mean, there are things that you can purchase, like quick animations or premium animations. And also, you can change the default color, it can be gray, let's say. Okay, and um, mm, that's all. Now let's test how this works. Yeah, that's all. If I help you, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, write them in the moment. Uh, write them in the comments.